What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am going to do an unboxing of a reel that Timu sent me here. I do not know how you pronounce the name of this. Do Diukio. <laughs> uh and this i believe was uh i believe it's under 14 dollars. i think it's 13.99 they sent this to me with a whole bunch of stuff to test out for my channel uh and also uh they sent me this rod this is a six and a half inch medium action rod from the company sugailing um and they amazon sells sugailing stuff too so uh i'm gonna look to check out this reel um I'm going to pair it with this rod and then we're going to spool it up and we're going to go from there. So this is a 3000 um, series rod and uh, I'm just going to get into it here. Let's see. All right, there, there we go. So again, I am not aware of the brand. It's uh, it is a three thousand, which you know is is decent medium action. Um, you can put six pound, eight pound, ten pound test on there. Um, and so, like I said, the rod is medium action, but it is aluminum alloy, and it feels very solid. Like this does not feel cheap at all. Um, if it's it's heavy it feels nice the uh, drag on it yeah it feels good everything seems to be in working order so first impressions it's heavy it does not feel cheap at all so let me show you this rod I have not looked at this rod yet See this rod. So put together there, there's the rod. It's decent. Again, it's uh, six. Oh, it's six foot. I think I said six and a half. So it's a six foot rod, and uh, it's about medium action. You can put anywhere from six to twelve pound test line on that so that between that and the uh reel should work out pretty decent so i'm gonna get it spooled up and uh we'll see if we can catch any fish with it or see how it performs i got it all spooled up there i put uh 10 pound test i think on there and i have to say it's a pretty decent setup it's sort of a sharp looking combo there the reels got some green and black, some of that silver. And uh, the rod is black and silver. Um, and I noticed it doesn't feel uh, cheap. I bought a rod at Walmart a year ago. It was like $10 and I just got it just to have. And I've used it some, but it's already starting to break down and it just feels cheap. But spooling this up uh, felt pretty sturdy. And the, the, it was just, it was um, reeling smoothly and everything. So we'll see. We'll see how long it lasts. But my uh, initial reaction is for $13.99. It's pretty decent little medium action setup there. Okay, guys, I'm out here fishing. It's been about a week since I unboxed this rod and reel that I got from Timu. Uh, I've used it two or three times. I've caught two trout on it. We're actually out here trout fishing tonight. And uh, I have to say that I'm actually really impressed with this reel. It's really nice. Um, it's super, super smooth. The brand is called... The brand is called Dukio. <laughs> Tucker is with me. He just casted it out before. What did you think of it? It's nice. Yeah, he's he's in favor of it too. Um, and I did post a short, a YouTube short about it. And somebody commented and said that I've never heard of Dukio, but somebody commented and said that Dukio is actually pretty decent quality, even though it's cheap. 
So, um, I got to say, again, prices fluctuate on Timu, but the rod and reel, they are both about 15 bucks each. So, it's it for 30 bucks, it's a pretty decent little setup, medium setup. So, I'm going to I was going to try and see if I could uh show you show me catching a trout on it. I did use it earlier. Um couple days after I got it and then I actually was you caught a trout tonight just a little trout on it so anyway somebody tipped us off that this part of the lake where we are right now was just stocked but I don't see any sign of trout when they're freshly stocked they're jumping and swimming around and uh, freshly stocked trout you can pick off pretty quickly so we're gonna go up this way and uh down at the other end of the lake is where they stock it, too. I wasn't aware that they stocked down here. Um, but down at the other end of the lake, we were fishing earlier. Um, and uh, Tucker actually caught something that was not a trout. It appeared to either be a carp or a catfish. It threw the hook right as he got it in, but it was definitely not a trout. So i got to get through the mud here and see if we can get some fish on my timu spinning rod i am going to go ahead and say that after using it about three times i would recommend it without a doubt it is very solid the rod is nice too it's got a nice bend to it so i'm going to say i recommend it i can check back later and tell you more but as of right now yeah i'm back out here again testing out this rod i wanted to test it a solid four or five times before i made my decision and i've been using it again tonight um i just switched to a lure i had a drop shot on it and uh, i caught a trout and now i'm just sort of casting out with my favorite daredevil see if i can get anything um so we'll just cast it out a couple times and go from there